Hello and welcome. Uh, I will be showing you the game Cataclysm Roguelike. Uh, kind of a tutorial. I'll just be uh, showing some t uh, tactics and techniques that you can use. Nothing special, just some basic stuff. So let's uh, start. Uh, first you will see that uh, there are a lot of zombies. Usually you can't defeat these with a single weapon or with a rifle or a handgun. Uh, you need some explosives or you have to run away. So I'll be showing how you can use a Molotov cocktail to burn a lot of zombies. So uh, I apply the Molotov cocktail. A Molotov t cocktail can be made with a rag and a um, liquor. As you can see I threw the Molotov cocktail to a target behind the wolf, but the wolf was in front of it, so uh, I got hit with the fire myself. As you can see, I'm in ex excruciating pain right now, so my speed is only 46 and it should be 100. So what I do now is um, I use another Molotov cocktail and I use the corner to make sure that the zombies will all run through the fire but he about here I notice that my speed is way too low so I, pr I will probably use my Adderall which is a speed increasing item yeah so you, you can see that my speed went from 64 to 123 which is much better because now I can actually outrun these zombies you will also see that I always try to take out the special zombies. So the normal green zombies are not much of a problem, but the purple or pink zombies, they can actually sort of blind you. And uh, there are other zombies that have ranged attack. So the boomers are the purple ones, and uh, I will... I will uh, usually always try to take these out with ranged weapons before I try to kill the other ones. So uh, I'm now looking for the subway station, which is another thing I wanted to show is that you can actually use the subway stations to get away from if you're being chased with by a lot of zombies. You will also notice that uh, my torso is heavily damaged. So I bandage it. And bandaging is pretty fast, so yes, I'm doing this while being chased by a horde of zombies. So as you can see in this video, I made uh, several mistakes. Most importantly, uh, I waited too long to use my speed items and I actually got hit myself with my own Molotov cocktail. I'm still in excruciating pain but my speed is still good, however once my speed increasing items have worn off, I will be very slow again. So ag again you will see me taking out the boomer because he can actually sort of blind you. He, he covers you with something and that blinds you. So now I just uh, I just uh, hurt the zombies into a ball and then I'm going to lure them through the window into the building and I will use another Molotov cocktail. Mm -hmm. Actually, normally in the game there is no real reason to use Molotov cocktails, you don't get any experience for it, but sometimes it can be useful if you want to take out several enemies, in especially in the early game when you don't have access to a lot of ammunition or rifles. So you will see that I put something on fire also in a doorway, which is also something that can be done. You can drop a rag or something else in in the doorway and then light it with your uh with your lighter and then you can stand 
behind the doorway and zombies will actually also be damaged by the fire. It's not that useful, useful but sometimes it can be used if you don't have any other options. And I actually didn't throw the Molotov cocktail in, in the right location because several zombies managed to find me without getting through the fire because the fire doesn't cover the entrance which is another mistake I made so you want to make sure that if you use a Molotov cocktail just use it at the entrance and preferably make sure that there are no windows that the zombies can go through to, uh, to avoid the fire so I'm still in excruciating pain and I have to run now and I got to the sewers and that's basically it There are two kinds of drugs that you can take that provide a very large speed boost that you can use in an emergency. Uh, the normal speed enhancing drugs is Adderall. It has no strong side effects, but the two other ones are methamphetamines and cocaine. Met, met is the best one, and both of these actually, when when they run out, you get a significant uh, re you get some time that you need to recover and you get a speed penalty so you got to make sure that you actually escape before the effect runs off so um, I ran into the sewer I wanted to show that there are places in the sewer where you can hide behind metal doors but it turns out that that uh, I couldn't find one but instead I found this cave like area and I just used that to rest so I can recover from the pain <laughs> 